There are simplification questions where there are decimal parts in the ratios, such as 1 to 1.5. How do we simplify ratios when we have decimal parts? The final answer has to have whole values. So let's make the parts whole numbers. An easy way to change a decimal number that isn't recurring into a whole number is to multiply it by a multiple of 10, such as 10, 100, 1000, or even greater. Looking at this ratio, to change 1.5 into a whole number, we can multiply it by 10 to give us 15. However, just as we have been dividing both values in a ratio by the same number to keep the ratio equivalent, we must do the same for when we are multiplying, which means one has to be also multiplied by 10. The new ratio is now 10 to 15. A common factor of 10 and 15 is 5. Dividing both values gives us the final answer of 2 to 3. This ratio is a simplification of 1 to 1.5. Some of you may have realised that you could have just multiplied both values by 2, which gives you the same answer. And that's perfectly fine. However, doubling or multiplying by a single value isn't always easy to realise. So if you see a question you think you can, then brilliant. However, if it's not clear, multiply the values by the same multiple of 10 and proceed to simplify by finding common factors of the values in the ratio. Then divide like before. Another example, simplify 3 to 1.02. What would we have to multiply the decimal by to make it a whole number? By multiplying 1.02 by 100, which is a multiple of 10, the whole number we get is 102. Once again, if we multiply one value in the ratio by a number, we must do the same to the others within the ratio. 3 also gets multiplied by 100, which gives us 300. The new ratio is 300 to 102. Both values can be divided by 2 to give us 150 to 51. These values can further be divided by 3 to give us 50 to 17. We check again to see if both values can be divided by a whole number. They only have a common factor of 1, so 50 to 17 is the final simplified answer. Last example. Simplify the ratio 6.3 to 2.1. Going through the same process, multiply both values by a multiple of 10. In this case, we can use 10 giving us the ratio 63 to 21, making both values whole numbers. Both values can be divided by 3, giving us the ratio 21 to 7, and the new values can be further divided by 7. The final values can be divided only by 1, so the final answer is 3 to 1. So to summarize, when simplifying ratios with decimals, the final simplification must have parts that are whole numbers and have no common factors except for one. To change a decimal that isn't recurring into a whole number, multiply it by a factor of 10 until there are no more decimals. Pause and try these questions. A form of simplifying ratios can involve fractions. How could you simplify 5 to 2 out of 3? First, we turn both values in the ratio into fractions. The second value is already a fraction. What is the fraction of a whole number? Any number can be expressed as the number over 1. So 5 as a fraction is 5 over 1. Now we have the ratio 5 over 1 to 2 over 3. We next find a common denominator of both fractions in the ratio. To make both the denominators the same, we can multiply the first fraction's denominator by 3, and since we are trying to keep the fractions equivalent, we also multiply the numerator by 3, giving us the ratio 15 out of 3 to 2 out of 3. Finally, we multiply both fractions by 3, giving us the final answer of 15 to 2. As you may have noticed, when the denominators are the same for the two values of the ratio, the final ratio values are the numerators of the fractions. How about this type of question? Simplify 2 out of 7 to 3 out of 5. The same process as before. We find the lowest common multiple of the denominators. In this case, it's 35. We find the equivalent fractions where 35 is the denominator for the two fractions. Now that the denominators are the same, the final answer will be 10 out of 21. So to summarize, when simplifying ratios with fractions, find the lowest common multiple of both parts of the ratio's denominators. Multiply both parts of the ratio to make them whole numbers. 
ensure the fractions are equivalent ratios and then multiply both parts of the ratio to make them whole numbers. Try these questions. If you like this series, be sure to comment, like and subscribe to be kept updated on new in-depth videos. And most importantly, share. I mean, what's the point of knowledge if you can't share it, right? And if we can make some people not give up on maths because of these videos, then our job is done. Don't see a topic you need help with? Suggest topics in the comment section. We do read all of them. Thanks again for watching and for learning. Peace.